depth of her knowledge, her story, I like to say storytelling abilities. I mean, she's incredibly knowledgeable. Uh, I don't know a, another curator with the depth of knowledge in American art and the breadth that, that Linda has. We started our friendship, essentially our colleagueship, when she arrived at Barnard College and uh, took a course with me in art history. The fact that she had this extraordinary eye, one of the best eyes I have seen in the American 19th century art. I met Linda Ferber over 30 years ago when I began working at the Brooklyn Museum. She was in charge of the paintings and I was in charge of the decorative arts. She was the chief curator at the Brooklyn Museum. She led the American art department. She was the acting director there. Curatorially, from a scholarly point of view, she has benefited so many artists through her curatorship and her directorship. I quickly realized that she was, at the time, one of the very few leaders of American art in a field that was really just beginning to emerge. I mentioned my interest in bringing Linda Ferber on as the museum director at New York Historical to another one of art trustees at the time, Hank Luce, Henry Luce. And Hank said to me, she'll never leave Brooklyn. Forget about it. That, that'll just never happen. And it was clear they were on the move. And that was one reason why they sought Linda out and hired her. And she saw the possibilities there. What I had asked her to do specifically was to bring our collection to life, our museum collection to life. When I came, it was a signal that the trustees had decided they realized that they had a great art collection under their roof. And in hiring an art historian to be the director of the museum rather than an, you know, a, a documentary historian, I think they signaled that um, it was time to mine these great collections. She really showed the goods the New York Historical Society goods, what we had and how great they could be. It was a show that no one would have believed this institution could have pulled off. I think one of the great impacts it had was the New York City um, public school curriculum. She understood perfectly well that you have to engage young people. We would come together into any one of our permanent collection galleries and watch when we're filled with school children, those children sitting cross-legged on the floor, just staring, just enjoying the art. It's the Hudson River School that brought me to the New York Historical Society. It's the Hudson River School and landscape painting that's kept me engaged with the society. I think it is one of the greatest gifts. Her career in the field of bringing the story of 19th century American landscape painting to the fore, both nationally and internationally, at the highest scholarly level is second to none. She gave us a museum that most people didn't know we had. It was really, really her contribution to this institution, and we still enjoy that.